Hey y'all, we went back to Five Guys and guess what? Did go get the six patty cheeseburger, okay? With bacon, mayo, and grilled onions. And it got six slices of cheese. Let's get into it. Let's add the barbecue sauce. Isn't it bad enough that you got the six patties with the six cheeses, mayo, and whatever toppings, the bacon as well? Why do you need to put the barbecue sauce on it too, man? Is it not enough calories as is? You got the fries too. You literally got fries on the side. Why you need the barbecue sauce on the side too, bro? I really want to know how much she spends in a month on fast food, dude. Because her entire TikTok page, if she's not twerking, she's either doing that, twerking, or eating really, really ridiculously high calorie foods. Disgustingly so, too. I thought... Becky Jones had the most disgusting content when it comes to when it comes to cooking, right? But I think Becky is pretty genuine on when she eats, right? She's just eating because I think that she loves eating. For this woman, I think she's doing it because she knows that people are watching her with the pleasure in mind of beating their meats. And don't get me wrong, there are plenty of reasons to beat off. Don't get me wrong. I get it. Like, do whatever you want, right? By the way, there's a fly in here. I can't get him. I tried to kill him like four times. He's still alive, but... Anyway, so if you see him fly by, it's a fly. I'm, I'm sorry. But if you're sitting here, I'm pretty sure like her content is defined by the fact that she's trying to make it as sexual as humanly possible. And, you know, hey, bro, however you make your money, it is what it is. I support sex work. But this is uh, kind of crazy, dude. Kind of insanely high-calorie foods. Like, you're literally putting your body at a detriment. So that way you can supply the, the beat-off blisters of other men. Too good. Too good. Damn, dude. Damn. Hmm. Oh. She didn't even fully, like, she wasn't even able to get to these last two patties with this bun as well. Like, her mouth was literally not big enough to consume, like, even that first bite optimally. See, it's not ushy gushy because I don't got my lettuce and tomatoes. Crazy, dude. Right That's a good reason to not have lettuce and tomatoes on there. Anything that has vegetables, we don't need that shit. We don't want it because it makes it too ushy gushy. It makes it that fucking wet wet, that, that macaroni and cheese shit. We don't want that. We want meat. We want solid meat. Six patties. And if you know anything about this woman, last video we did on this woman, she did the four patties. And she was saying that she was regretting not getting the six patties. I'm surprised that she didn't go back for the 12 patties. At this point, she might as well just keep doubling it on the way up. The fact that you did eat a four patty burger, though, and you sat there and looked at that four patty and was like, it's really not enough. Like, I'm probably going to have to need the six patty. No joke. And then she went back and she actually did get the six patty. Good for her. She's a woman of her word. But simultaneously, I just really wish she wasn't. So good. It's not that good. It's just meat at that point. Like, I don't even know if if you're just eating to eat, it is what it is. But the fact that this woman is body slamming a six patty burger talking about something that tastes good, it doesn't taste good. It's literally quantity over quality at that point. I, I, whatever you want, you know, if you want to... It'd be like the equivalent of a dude with a really big meat and he doesn't know how to use it. So he's like flopping it around. Maybe he's like using it as a lightsaber or something like that. Or a guy with a really small genitalia, but he knows how to execute the process better. It's the same thing. It's the same thing in practice. I would much rather. Mm, it's like, you know, when guys be like, oh, man, dog, I don't want my girl to have really big domesticated butt cheeks. I need them big, lumpy, clumpy cottage cheese butt cheeks, right? And you might like that. Like you might like the quantity over the quality, which is somebody that goes to the gym. And this is for guys and girls, somebody that goes to the gym that works on their their actual butt cheek capacity and they try to actually grow it. Okay. Like I prefer that rather than the lumpy, clumpy, disgusting, you know, like whatever. If you got that particular type of butt cheeks for for like that's fine. There are plenty of there's a lot of guys that like that. But for me, I'm not for that. And uh, I prefer the qua the quality over the quantity. Damn. Mm. Nah, bro. Damn. That's like literally. Think about this, right? That's like, that's that's like one twentieth of a cow, right? Like she's just basically putting her mouth directly on cow meat, and she's body slamming that shit, no problem. Think about the cheese too. That fermented cow titty milk all over that shit. Man, human beings are some of the most gross and most beautiful creatures on the planet. I mean, think about what we're able to do here. Make a six patty burger with six slices of cheese and take off the vegetables because it make it too ushy gushy. 
<sighs> what beautiful creatures we are. When I was ordering this, y'all, the guy was like, are you serious? I said, I'm dead fucking serious. Damn, dude. Can you imagine the guy being like, yeah. Look, yeah, let me get that. Let me get like a six patty in the dugo. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. That's funny. <laughs> That's all you are you serious? Are you serious? Six? You know that's enough to feed like five small children and then some, right? And she go, yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead fucking serious. So much sass in there too, bro. I believe it, dude. Did you see the way she talked to those Chipotle employees when they was like, yeah, you want that? She was like, yeah, get, put extra, put extra, double, double. Give me double meat. Give me extra. Didn't say please, didn't say thank you, none of that shit, bro. Just had that dude looking around, stumbling throughout the food section, squapping that shit down on top of her plate. Ordering this, y'all? The guy was like, are you- She's so happy, too. Like, she's reminiscent about this shit while smiling. Like, like she has so much pride in the fact that she made this dude put this monstrosity onto a plate and then give it to you. Are you serious? I said, I'm dead fucking serious. Give it to me. Put it on the tab. Damn. Damn. Woo. And she got the black Ariel on her fucking t-shirt, dude. That's crazy, bro. Disrespectful, man. You think that's what black Ariel would have wanted? Mm. Dude. Stop. Mm. Stop. Damn. Damn. Mm. It's so much, it's so much food. And I know a lot of people, can somebody do the math down in the comment section? People always give me shit for not understanding like how many calories something is. I don't eat at five guys. And the last time I did eat at five guys was like four years ago. And I had to drop literally a hundred on it because I was, I bought food for two people. It was crazy. It was like $40 for two burgers, which was insane. But somebody can do the math in terms of the calories because this is like gotta be astronomical. Six patty burger, somebody please. And okay. She got the fries too. And I know these are the five guys fries because them shits are crusted. They always overcook those fries, man. They're always crustated to the next degree. So she got the fries and that's probably like, even if it was a small, you can do the math on that. And she got ketchup and she put six extra slices of cheese on that shit. So let me know how many calories this is. I have to know. I'll pin it. Damn. Mm. Dude. It's not worth it. Damn. Anything but water, too. Anything but water, dude. You would think that she would be... You know, if you're going to equalize it and you're going to eat a six-patty burger, you would think that the water would be the, 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 the drink in choice. But nah! We got to drink the iced tea. This woman, real deal, just doesn't care about herself, man. I really feel like that, bro. This fucking dude is right here on my fucking monitor. Did you see that shit? He was right on my monitor, tempting me. Bro. Mm. It's dripping. Did you guys see that drip? Look at the drip. Watch the drip. Mm. Oh. Damn. Damn. And the fries? And the fries? Last bite, y'all. Damn, last bite. Took that shit down like it was fucking nothing, dude. She literally looking at that shit with so much pride. Like what she just did was good for herself, bro. This is literally bad. This is solid villain-like behavior right here, dude. This woman literally went to a Five Guys and picked up a six patty burger and walked out that shit. Body slammed it for the TikTok and is happy about it, man. Oh, in the ketchup, too. The ketchup. When you can dip your burger in the ketchup, that should be a problem, dude. That triple chinch is starting to come through. Damn. Damn. Woo. Mm. Don't. You see the noises that she makes, too, dude, right? She does put this under ASMR, so I guess people are watching it. I don't know what kind of satisfaction, because I used to watch, um, 
I used to watch Indian dudes and they used to do like these things, right? This on the back of dudes' heads. I used to watch this really, really bald guy go to India or like other Indonesian countries or something like that. And he would get his head beat the fuck up by Indian guys and they would pull on his arm and they'd crack his knuckles for him. And I used to watch that because I really like the sound of people like enjoying massages, even though personally I don't really like massages, but I like when people enjoy massages. So I used to watch that. It used to be really satisfying for me to watch those things, but I never really got the appeal of watching somebody else eat high denominations of food while calling you a bitch while you while they're eating it. I just don't understand it personally. I mean, maybe it's the mouth noises. I don't like mouth noises personally. I think they're gross. I also don't like the mmm, mmm, oh, damn, ooh, it's good, mmm, right here, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't like it personally, but I guess there are a lot of people that appeal to this particular type of content because there is a lot of people that do watch her stuff and um, consume it, no pun intended. So it's an anomaly to me, but there is like, but then again, there are people that like watching women fart on cakes and this is much better than that. Dude, that, those mouth noises are like... Damn, bro. Damn. Damn, the triple stack on a fry is crazy. Hi, how are you? Can I get a bowl with no rice but pinto beans? I I've never heard somebody go and get a bowl of no rice on, on the Chipotle dish, bro. But, damn, by the way, bro... This, this Chipotle is dirty as fuck, bro. Can we take a second? Damn. They don't give a fuck about this Chipotle. Look at all the fucking food all over the place here. Dirty as hell. If I walked into a Chipotle, which I don't usually do, and I saw that the ingredients were literally slopped over all over it on the table and shit like that, like this is in there and that's in over there, it, I would walk out. This is dirty as hell. No rice, yes, sir. He, he asked her, I was like, damn, you sure about that? Damn, wet as fuck. Her. Um, can I get, um, double chicken al pastor? Damn. Dude, it's dirty as shit. Sir? Um, extra queso? Ooh. I got a little bit of steak. Just a little bit. Yeah, just steak. Thank you. Can I get, um, Dude, it's dirty queso? as fuck, bro. This, dude, this, this establishment is literally crusted. The flakes all over each fucking food portion. By the way, no, no, no. Thank you. No, can you please? Can It's all, let me get, let me get, let me get, let me get. Damn. Sloppy. Uh, Dude, what the fuck is <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is this, bro? They couldn't clean this shit up? They couldn't take a, a wet rag to this and just wipe it down a little bit? Dude, this shit is dirty as hell. What the fuck? Extra what the fuck? Extra coin. Damn. Yes. Oh my god. Extra cheese. Extra cheese. I love when she says extra cheese because he didn't even put the portion out yet. That means that like she's just straight up asking for so much cheese that he, he she's not even going for the can I get cheese and then you could put your extra in. She's just eliminating that step completely. She's just gonna go for the extra. Damn. Can I get a little bit more cheese? That shit is packed the fuck full. Uh extra block. Oh, bro, that guac was literally brown. Did you guys see that shit? Like, when he, like, started scraping the top, it literally... Look look at it. It's like the outside of a tree covered in moss. And then when he scraped it, you saw the under. Ugh. This shit looks fermented, like... Like, like Shrek when he busts nuts. An extra guac. Watch it. Peep the, peep the guac. Scrape, and then the green underneath. Ugh, dude. Fucking Shrek swamp right here. I would not be going into this fucking establishment. This shit looks gross. My fuckers be so tight when I don't get no rice in my bowl. Bitch, this is my fucking bowl. I paid for it. Bitch, if you want rice in your bowl, you get it. Is that the same fucking bowl, dude? What the fuck happened to it? Why the fuck does it look like that? That shit looks like that shit looks like grease that hardened over time. Am I wrong? Why does it look like that? Why is the guac brown? This is, is this the same fucking bowl? But until then, mind your fucking business, okay? Whew. Hard as fuck. If you want rice in your bowl, you get it. But until then, mind your fucking business. Okay? Damn. Yeah, I know I got my motherfucking pickles. Can't forget the motherfucking pickles. Okay. Pickles on Doritos is crazy. 
Ooh. Oh, oh, that's the cheese. Oh, like the cheese like fermented or something, or like she put it in the oven and cooked it for a little bit or something, dude. It just doesn't look normal. Am I wrong? It just kind of looks gross. Mm. It's too good. Mm. Mm. Damn. Mm. Damn. It's not that good. That bite was crazy. I've never in my life been impressed about why a bitch got her food the way she fucking got it. That's that bitch food, not mine. Damn. He gave me so much beans. I love that. Yeah, she didn't even get rice. I hope he gave her so much beans, dude. You literally didn't even have like the platform to build on top of. You just had the beans. So I hope he gave you a lot. You literally started off with no rice. Let me get extra beans. So I hope that he filled that shit up with fucking beans, dude. God damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I be trying to act like the food police so fucking bad. Like it's mandatory to have rice in the fucking bowl. Damn, why are you so heated about this shit, dude? Are you really reading those comment section where people... Dude, there are there are so many things to be mad about in your comment section. People literally out here critiquing you. Saying you got big back behavior. Saying you ain't gonna make it to 30. Saying that this is deplorable activity. And you focus on the fact that you didn't order rice in the Chipotle dish. Nobody really cares. I mean, it is kind of crazy that you didn't order rice. When most people say that that is like the best part about Chipotle. Is like that foundation of rice. That's fine though. You can go ahead and get it like a foundation of beans. If that's what you want to do. But... The fact that you're focusing on that so hard, man, nobody cares. And the fact that she is doing this because she's like, what's the word? Gaslighting us into believing that that's the biggest problem. That's not the biggest problem. It's the fact that this bowl is like 500, 5,000 fucking calories. Damn, bro. These bites be so massive too, dude. There's so much food there. You don't need to take these big ass fucking bites. There's literally enough food here for to feed me, realistically. This is like two days worth of food, bro. I could probably body slam half of that in one day. Well, let me be honest here for a second. This is probably enough food for me for a day. I mean, I probably shouldn't have be eating it though, since it's literally probably like 2,000 plus calories for this entire thing. And I think I would, well... It would just depend, right? But definitely, there's a lot of food here. So, I mean, the fact that she's going to body slam the whole shit is insane. In love, dude. Damn. And she's got the Doritos, too. <laughs> the most high-calorie version of the, of the chips. That white sauce looks gross. We trying a pineapple Fanta? No, no water. Never water. We don't need that. We got Fanta. We got the, we got the pineapple fucking Fanta. Dad, we don't we don't fuck with the water. We only do soda or juice. I don't think I had this one, but we're gonna try it. Doesn't matter if you've ever had it, dude. Why does it matter? Like, it, it, you know, like, whatever, dude. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that shit is crack. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro. Come on, dude. It's it's just a fucking Fanta. No, I didn't even know people even drank Fanta unless you were from the fucking UK. So the fact that she's drinking it here, I didn't even know they made this flavor in America. Closing your eyes to drink it is insane, man. I don't think I've ever done this with a food before in my life, dude. It's like a gay man sucking dick for the first time. Like, he didn't know he was gay until he put his lips straight to the BBC and realized he was in love. Mm. It's not. Ugh. Damn. That shit slopped the fuck off. You saw that? Damn. Damn. Gross. Can't be stopped, dude. I'm. Is this really cheese? Why the fuck is it so thick? Why does it look like grease that's been fermented over? It doesn't look edible. It looks gross. Am I wrong? This cannot be the same dish, but it looks all looks like it's like the same. Maybe she just gets like Chipotle every fucking day or something. I don't know. I mean, I know she eats out every day. I know she does. I literally see her TikTok and she's getting... <laughs> She's getting rewarded for this bad behavior, dude. Even though there are people in her comment section telling her that it's terrible, it's bad for her, there's like nothing good about any of this food. She doesn't give a fuck. She's still gonna body slam that shit. She's gonna backwash it like it's no problem at all. So, I mean, there's that. But if you look on her TikTok page, I'm not playing with you, dude. It's literally just scroll down for like two minutes. You'll find her eating out, and it's every day too. She'll upload at least one or two of those eating out videos every single day. Or she's twerking. But those are usually in between those videos. And you know what? If you want to watch her twerk, that's fine. I didn't even know TikTok really encouraged that type of content. She has to put like 
um, when she's like twerking, sometimes there's a lot of stuff that's being shown and it's hard to track sometimes. So there's a whole bunch of like stars over the nipples or something like that. I don't know, bro. But it's like deplorable content. If you want to twerk, that's fine. Go ahead and twerk. But <sighs> the eating videos are just kind of like, damn, bro. There's so much food. People have the weirdest flexes nowadays. Like, I feel like this isn't something that we should be bragging about. Like, sitting here eating gluttonous amounts of food. But I guess it's better than, like, having a conversation with almost anybody about anything. Because, like, have you ever talked to people nowadays, dude? They're so incredibly bizarre in the way that they speak to each other. Like, talking to a random person and they tell you, Hey, oh, man, you know my mom? Like, she doesn't even know who Doja Cat is. And you go, like, I know, bro. Everybody's mom doesn't know who Doja Cat is, okay? Like, you're not unique in that aspect that your mom doesn't know who somebody is. Everybody's mom doesn't know that. And then also, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but, like, it's not even a, it's not even a good thing most of the time to even talk about your mom. Like, I remember I was talking to somebody, and he told me that he brought up his mom while talking to a girl on the first date. And I always thought, like, why would you do that? Like, out of every person that you could have brought up, like, Meryl Streep would have probably been a better talking point than talking about how cool your mom was. Everybody loves your mom. Don't get me wrong. Your mom is cool. I think your mom is cool, too. But the problem is it's just not attractive to talk to your mom, especially if you're trying to seduce a young lady into possibly indulging in her vaginal crevices or finding out whether or not your penis is misshapen or curves to the left slightly. There is just... Not many op there's not many opportunities where talking about your mom gets a good outcome. So probably don't do it. But I guess it's probably better than talking about how yesterday you went to Taco Bell and got that new Taco Bell meal with the chips and how you I, going to Taco Bell in general is already like crazy. I don't know how many times I've met I've been have even been to Taco Bell, probably like once in my entire life. And the fact that she went to Taco Bell and then decided to coat her food in more food. That's probably a crazy ass thing to even have a conversation about. But you know what, dude? Maybe she could just refer them. You know what I'm talking about? Like if somebody said, hey, what do you do for a living? You could just literally open up your TikTok or send them a link and don't say any words. Because I feel like if you were to say the words about what you do for a living or how you make your money off the internet, I feel like saying something like I sell feet pictures or sometimes I fart on cakes would be more of a presentable talking talking point than this. Like, this is harder to explain than that. Like, I don't even know what you say. Oh, yeah, um, I have a TikTok page where I shake my ass occasionally, and also I eat probably five or 6,000 calories a day um, because dudes on the internet are beating off to it. I don't know why there are so many guys out there that are attracted to overweight women that wear bonnets that eat a crazy amount of high calories and also treat really, really badly people that work at fast food places, but that's what I do for a living. And I know that that's probably like really crazy. Oh, he's leaving that, because I would leave too. That's a very crazy, if I, hey, look, if I met up with a girl on a date and she told me she did OnlyFans, there's a higher probability that I would stay around for that than when, if this girl told me this or if I saw her TikTok page, because this is just unacceptable human-like behavior. Like, the food is so sloppy that it just falls off the moment she takes a bite. Like, the pickle literally ran from the taco. Mm. It's not that good. I don't care what anybody says. Colin Cap. Damn, dude. It kind of looks like there was a string on that one. It's so sloppy, too. When I first started watching this woman, I thought that she had great table manners. Like, I thought that she actually didn't have that many problems with eating. But it seems like every time I see her now... Everything that she eats is always coated in like layers and layers and layers of slop. I think it's probable that this person should probably be taking showers after every single time they eat. It seems like that's probably something I would do because consistently coating yourself in these layers of barbecue sauce and hot sauce is disgusting, salty, disgusting. I would rather have like four homeless guys rub up against me on a daily basis than be coated with the amount of d d just, just, just the sauces that this woman has. And by the way, can we talk about real quick how much money she's probably spending on those sauces? Like each meal that she has is going to be coated in homemade sauces. Like not the stuff that you can get at the restaurants, like ketchup and stuff like that. No, she rips out the bottles. Like she'll have the bottles of ranch on the side or she'll have the bottles of barbecue sauce on the side. And those are just coming from her refrigerator. Those are just hers, her sole own portions. So 
Yes, she's getting the, the sides at the, 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 the restaurants, but she's also getting her own at her own house. I wonder how much money she's spending on the fast food and how much money she's spending on the <sighs> condiments. Disgusting. Hey, Buki, we got some motherfucking slutty motherfucking tacos. I do, I do enjoy that she does call them slutty tacos. And I think that the, this, the consensus here is like, because they're so drastically disgusting that you took a normal taco and that you coated it in all these disgusting condiments, that somehow it makes them slutty because they're overindulging in all the other condiments that now it's no longer a present. Like this, this is obviously not the taco you take home to your family, right? These are the tacos that you confess your sins about that you 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 you're probably muslim and you probably still went to a catholic church just to tell the pastor that you did something diabolical with your mouth you filled yourself up with something that was completely gross and and pro probably uh gay you're probably homosexual like I, I would probably go as far as to say that if you eat these tacos you would have to confess that you did something homosexual with your mouth but only your mouth there are times and places where you can do something homosexual with your mouth but it could not be gay. Like, for instance, gay by proxy. So I'll give you an example, right? If I kissed a man, you know that if I kissed a man right now, it wouldn't be gay in the sense of like, because I know this guy is probably a mouth virgin. Like, he's only ever probably eaten vagina before. So technically, if I lay my lips upon another man's mouth, that means that I'm tasting the backwash of the vagina that he indulged in. But... If I place my lips upon a woman's mouth, there's a high probability that she sucked meat, right? There's a, a, a big a big possibility. So if I'm putting my lips on a woman's mouth, that means I'm gay by proxy, if that makes any sense. So it's probably more heterosexual to place your lips upon a man because he's only eating vagina. So you're technically eating backwash vagina instead of backwash penis. So you're gay. That's, that's the overall point here. I don't even know what we're talking about, but yeah. I feel like I haven't been making enough taco videos. That's a that's quite a claim. That's a, that's quite a claim. I haven't been making enough taco videos, but you've been making a lot of burger videos. Even though there was only two, there was probably enough burger there to make like. Let me guess. Hold on. If even, I think double cheeseburgers are probably optimal if I'm gonna keep it a buck with you because you get the proper amount of meat indulgence on the bun. So I would probably if you did four and then you did a six. How many burgers can you make out of that? What is that like? What is that eight? Eight burgers? Am I wrong? No, that's ten, right? So five burgers, I guess, you can make out of that because half of that. Yeah, five burgers. You could have made five burger videos out of that, but instead you chose to make two because you're big as fuck and you decided that, <laughs> that, was the, that was the correct course of action. Diabolical behavior, by the way. That is some real big back behavior, bro. That's like stepping in an elevator and the elevator already tells you that it reached weight capacity and there's only one person in there. Instead, there could have been like five or six other people in there, but you chose to take up that whole space. Because I miss my girls, like, True. and I know my girls miss me. Can somebody tell me if it's good to put pickles on top of tacos? I've never thought about that in my life. And, you know, I'm the guy that literally put maple syrup inside of tuna because I didn't have any mayonnaise. So I've never thought about this before. But then again, I'm not, like, cultured enough in order to even properly make tacos. But then again, these don't even really look like they're properly made as well. I'm really sick of people that make tacos and the meat, the cheese is not melted. I don't know how many times I've seen that shit. What are you just eating cold fucking tacos? What's the point? I just don't understand, dude. You might as well just put some craft on that shit at that point because it's just cold. You couldn't like throw them in the air fryer for like literally 30 seconds to heat up the cheese. I don't want to indulge in cold taco cheese. It just, it to me, doesn't make any sense. I might as well just like, go to the grocery store and get one of those like kid cuisines or the Lunchables and make my own fake ass taco there because it's probably basically the same shit. And then also look how many fucking condiments are on this goddamn taco. Damn. Like one bite. How does it feel to know that one bite from her can literally take a third of the taco completely down? That's crazy. And also think about the amount of extra calories on top of that taco with all the meat and the condiments and the sour cream and the extra cheese and the extra cheese sauce and the extra whatever the fuck, man. It's... Girl. Girl what? I, you know, I, I don't understand that either. Girl. Over what? Over the cheese meat? Over what, dude? Why are we saying girl so fucking fast and so hard?
Damn. Mm. Felt, dude, I hope she has like a bib on or like, you know, when you're a really, really big person and you have like that paper towel on the, on the, on the bottom of your body. So that way when you're eating the slop of your food, it happens with really sloppy people. Like for me personally, I don't need that because I'm a really clean eater. I don't put my hands in my mouth. You'll never see slop on my, on my, on my pants or anything like that. There might be one or two times where I'm eating something that I probably shouldn't be eating. But I'm really good at it. I always roll back the mustache to eat the food properly. But this individual says fuck that shit and just has the food straight up falling upon themselves, man. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, man. This woman is a marvelous human being. I wonder, I really wonder, okay, do you think that after she eats this meal, she has like that black residue underneath her nails because of all the food that's been accumulated underneath that? Like, I, I really feel like you have to take showers after eating stuff like this. Scra I got some sweet heat jalapenos on this too. Scraping up more w meat water off that plate. By the way, that dollar store plate, I got a few of those too, by the way. Those are like really cheap, which is okay, by the way. If you're like poor or you just don't really care about yourself, you probably will have a few of these plates. I have a few of them myself personally. Mine's are pink though. Mm. Damn. God damn. Four bite and a whole taco, bro. Mm. Wow. Look at that fucking plate. That shit doesn't even look natural. That shit looks like an art painting. This looks like something like an artist would have on their, like, you know that, that cardboard thing that they have that they, like, put paint to and then they go like that on top of the thing? It looks like that. It looks like she's on that. That whatever that thing is called. You know what I'm talking about. Leave it down below. Damn. Mm. It's real. I don't think that it's really that good, dude. I at the point that she is at right now, um, she doesn't look as big as I feel like she should be looking. But that's probably because she just got started with this content. We got to give her like a solid six months, and then she's gonna be complaining that the Ozempic is destroying her hair. So we don't know. But I think it's crazy how some people, cause like I didn't know this, but TikTok has a lot of places where people just consume a lot of calories and they get rewarded for it like it's an anomaly to me it started with becky jones i started watching her because people have told me david you need to watch becky jones so i was like who is this becky jones individual and of course when i watched her videos it's almost kind of like i got her diabetes on me like i felt my blood pressure rising as i was watching her and then i realized right that it's not just her there are a smorgasbord of people all across the world that consume high denominations of calories and they do it for the pleasure of other people. I don't know necessarily if Becky is doing it for the pleasure of other people or she just loves food. There's a possibility that it's both, but I think it's probably more centered on the fact that she is a very big person and she loves food in her mouth, which is fine. You can love food all you want. Um, and it's Oh, it's totally okay, dude, right? You can love food in your mouth or you could love food in other places. I know and you know there are plenty of people out there that sit on cakes. There are plenty of people out there that have sex with pizzas and things such and so forth. And you know what? To be honest, I think it might be better to have sex with pizzas depending on how fat you are. If you're such a big person that you're consuming two, three, four, five thousand calories a day and but or you're the other person that like every once in a while has to go down to your local pizza shop, buys that double meat lover's pizza and stuffs your meat in that meat lover's pizza. But got to make sure that that meat lover's pizza is a little bit cooled off because you can't just be sliding raw meat in the meat lovers because that's just going to be hot as fuck. Obviously, you know that. I know that. I feel like there should be. I know there's a guy out there that does professionally have sex with pizzas, but I feel like there should be more than just that. I think there needs to be more people out there that indulge in the art of what pizzas or what foods are the most optimal for sexual contact. Because like, what else is there to life if not we're, if we're not enjoying food more than one way? I mean, listen, how much food do we get wasted in a year, right? We literally just throw away food sometimes for no other reason than it's just gone bad. I threw away some bagels the other day because they had green stuff on them. I could have easily decorated my penis in like four or five of those bagels, easily, but I didn't. I didn't even think about it. And you know what? I'm gonna change it. From this point on, I'm gonna be coating my penis in all sorts of foods. Damn, that shit doesn't even look good, dude. The cheese whiz on that shit. Woo. Wow. Delicioso. Oh.
There's already so much on the- Oh, she scraped up the plate with her fingers. I see the residue. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Man, them AirPods are not recovering, dude. I- You know, I really dislike AirPods, like, a lot. I know so many people that have lost so many AirPods in their life, but they keep buying AirPods because it's a trap. Apple products are a trap. They want you to keep buying them. And for me, I'm never going to do it. I'm going to stay with my 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks until I die. Or somebody donates uh, a nice pair of headphones to me. But even still, I know a lot of people that have gone with the wind, these AirPods, man. I remember one time I was waiting for somebody at an airport and there was a woman that came out and she talked to this state trooper and she said, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I need help, I need help. And the guy was like, what do you need help with? And she said, I lost my AirPods at the place I was before. Okay, listen, I live in Massachusetts, all right? JFK. And this woman said, the guy said, where are your AirPods? And he said, she said, in Idaho. What the fuck is he going to do? Are you going to, like, call the cops in Idaho for this, like, I don't know, like, you, you need to, like, throw out a fucking Amber Alert? For your, uh, for your AirPods that you just lot, lost? Obviously not. You don't even know the exact location, too. But anyway, dude, I, I know a lot of people that have sacrificed their AirPods to the Air Deities, and uh, they still buy them. They still buy them, dude. And they're really expensive, too. But um, And they just fall out of your head sometimes, dude. Some I know some guys that don't even realize they just fall out of your head. Just like that one girl I knew that told me that she had sex with a guy the night before. And then she went to go use the bathroom that next day, and she said a condom fell out of her vagina as she was peeing. So it's, you know, I mean, obviously not exactly like that, but kind of like that. Mm. Three tacos, man. How many calories do you got? Damn, bro, that shit is crazy as fuck, bro. She could put a lot down in that fucking mouth, bro. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give a solid buck on that one. That's crazy. She really can throw that shit back like that. And I'm not talking about butt cheeks. I'm talking about the food. She could throw that shit back. Three tacos. How many calories is that normally for three tacos at Taco Bell that are Dorito tacos or whatever the fuck these things are? I presume that these are Taco Bell Dorito tacos or whatever. How many calories are those? And then can somebody do the estimates on all the extra sauces, cheese, and other things that she put on top of that? Just an estimate. Just a guesstimate. What are you guys thinking? Damn. Mm. The frame had a, the frames were dropping because it was like it couldn't register all the all the craziness that was going on screen. Like the the the, the recording device was like stuttering a little bit, like at the sheer at the sheer girth of these tacos entering her mouth. The the camera itself was losing frames. Damn, it kind of looks hard. Woo. Mm. It's not that good. At least she eats it all, though. She doesn't waste food. And I know she's going to lick that plate clean. Wow. There's already food. You don't need to lick your fingers, dude. But, you know, this is this is one of the reasons why I think this is probably kink content. Because if you're licking your fingers after every single bite like this, dude, there's no doubt in my mind that you're doing this for the satisfaction of other men that have beat off blisters upon their meats. There's no other reason, right? No, if not, I don't know, dude. Because, look, sometimes sometimes right when you're engaging in sex sometimes and you look down and you see the woman's butthole then you think okay i know what this is i know what this does this is a butthole there's people in there i know what happened and then you realize you don't want to have sex anymore because you got it in your head that that's a butthole right okay it's the same thing when it comes to licking your fingers sometimes you'll look at your fingers with the food residue and you'll think did i shake somebody's hand today yes did i wash my hands yes does that man that I shaked his hand today, did he beat off with that hand? Most definitely. Am I licking my fingers right now with this food residue, knowingly engaging in homosexual activity because he had meat residue on his hands? Now, granted, you washed your hands, but you know what they say, 99.9% .9 of the virus or whatever the fuck is on your hand has been killed. That doesn't, that, that's probably the same for that 0.1% meat. Gay. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Damn. Mm. Crazy. What a life we live.
But you know what? I, what there's no other time in the world that I would want to live. Truly, dude. People are able to sell their feet. People are able to sell their vaginas unmoisturized. By the way, which is crazy. By the way, that'd be like, listen. If you're a woman, okay, and you're selling your vagina, I have no problem with that. Like, if you if you're se if selling pictures of your vagina, I have no problem. But if you're selling unmoisturized vaginas, that's crazy to me. That'd be like a dude going, "You want a dick pic?" And he sends a flaccid meat picture. What is that? What is that? Why would you ever do that? Go to the bathroom, slap your shit up a little bit, and then take the picture like that. You're not selling flaccid meat pictures. That's crazy. If you want the if you want the customer to come back, get okay. Here's what you do: go down to the Chinese dollar store, okay? Go get one of those spray bottles, okay? And go in there and just pour some water in. I know it's harder for women to automatically become moisturized. So just spray it like that. Just get the mist on there whatever make it look like a rainforest or something like that because there is more value to a it's an upgraded picture also listen you can't be selling 720p vagina pictures they need to be 4k 100 percent. i need to see the atoms directly upon the vagina itself same thing with anything you need to up the quality of these cameras dude i don't know how many times i've seen people selling pictures of whatever they're selling and they're low quality pictures dude i if I can count the amount of pixels on the screen, it's not good for me. I need that 4K. I don't have anything that's gonna output the 4K, but that's not the point. I wanna see the file size three gigabytes for a vagina picture. Then you'll know that you're doing something right. And the same thing for penis pictures. If you're a man, which not many men can do this, but if you're a dude and you can sell penis pictures, that thing needs to be crazy, okay? I want a panorama, literally a panorama of dick pic. That shit would be crazy. pickle damn dude that's crazy as fuck bro i thought the video that's crazy bro that's crazy bro oh my god literally slurping up the plate the dollar store plate now that was uncalled for that was actually uncalled for you didn't need to do that i was just joking i didn't watch this video i promise i didn't know she was actually going to do that that is actually gross that is beyond gross actually i almost can't even believe she put her finger to the plate like that and scraped off the residue and licked it off her fingers that's crazy and like i said i think this is kind of kink content bro if you look on her tiktok she's shaking ass she's going to clubs she's in public restroom shaking ass which is crazy by the way i don't know why the fuck you go in a public restroom shaking ass that's insane you can ask anybody that knows me personally, I would never expose my raw butt cheeks to a public restroom. You would never see it. Never. In your life, you're never going to see I will hold that shit back as much as I possibly can. I will never expose my domesticated butt cheeks to a public bathroom. That shit's crazy. There are way too many times. What if you're exposing your butt cheeks and somebody comes in? You never know, bro. You never know. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin when it comes to that stuff. I'm not willingly giving up butt cheeks, dude. That's crazy. So I'm never putting myself in a scenario where that's even happening, dude. I don't be bubble gutted like that to where I'm going to be busting ass out in public like that. But the point I'm making is when I see somebody twerking in a public bathroom, I think that's pretty low, bro. That's really low. Am I wrong? Can somebody let me know about that? Look at what we got, hoes. Ah! You happy as fuck over some wing stop? When I tell you, it's been like... Man, it's not practical to have these fucking nails while you're eating food. It's not practical to have these nails in general. I don't know. I don't know. I have so many women. What are these nails? Like two inches acrylics, bro? These things is long as hell. There's no way you're doing anything optimally with this. I literally heard horror stories of women having to quadruple wash their hands because they tried to wash or wipe their butt cheeks while having these nails on. And they had not realized that they got the residue of that whatever was back there on their fingers or i remember i saw this one girl one time out in public that dropped her credit card and was trying to pick it up and she had to ask a gentleman to come over and pick it up for her because she couldn't get it off the floor because her acrylics were too long why are they so goddamn long look you can wear whatever you want to wear i know there are women out there they're gonna say david we don't do it for men i know you don't do it for men you shouldn't be doing it at all that's crazy no one should have nails that long that's insane dude what do you like that one indonesian man that's been like growing his nails for the last 24 years that's impractical three years since i had fucking wing stop but a bitch had to travel to a whole other state just to eat wing stop yes. that's you know you, you're, you're really fat as fuck if you're sitting here telling me that you had to travel to another state to get wing stop is it really worth it like that? Isn't Wingstop just a fast food genre? 
I, I was not aware that this was some kind of delicacy that required you to travel across the country in order to acquire it. I did not know. I'm that fucking bad. When you ain't got no kids, you have that privilege, you know? That's crazy to even say, bro. If you don't got kids, you can travel across the country for a wing stop. Keep it a buck with that one. True. But get into the... All right. Well, damn. No, I can't keep... I got to keep it a buck. Dude, these fries is burnt. The fries have burnt the fuck up. They they burnt your shit up. These shits is crunchy. I know when you bite into this shit, it's gonna be like rocks. The cheese looks okay. Okay. They look the cheese looks okay. Motherfucking voodoo fries. This is the first time I ever had voodoo fries. The last time I tried their fries, I didn't really like it too much, but it's been a little minute. So let me see if I She already got some she already got some shit on the nails themselves. You guys see that orange shit right there, bro? I don't even want to question what that is, bro. I I don't even want to know. I, that shit looks pretty suspect. I can relate them. Um, and then, of course, we got the best flavor is garlic parm. And then I'm trying the hot honey rub. I don't know what that tastes like, but I love honey and I love hot. Somebody tell me about the calories on this one. Please. I need to know. It match. And then. What's that? I got the large ranch, of course. Oh, my God. That was a ranch? I thought that was like a mashed potato or something like that. Dude, she got some fucking shit on her nail, bro. What is that? It's not on any, any of the other nails. What the fuck is that shit? Dude, she's literally got a bucket of ranch, dude. A fucking bowl of ranch. I don't even... Doesn't Wingstop feel bad knowing that they sell this? Like, this is... Is this just complimentary? Like, they just give you this shit out the fucking door? Oh. God damn. Roll the hair back. I, you gotta install that wig a little bit better, dude. I can see it. Oh, yeah? I just think... It's pointless without that seasoning on top. I was trying to get the Parmesan shits, but <laughs> Ruby East ain't let me. They ain't give me that motherfucking option. Oh, you didn't even drive to the fucking wing stop, dude? I mean, what was I thinking, dude? Of course you had to get the Uber Eats. What was I thinking? Thinking that this woman went out of her fucking way to get the wing stop, had to actually work for the wing stop? No, 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 no. What was I thinking? Of course the Uber Eats. Of course. It's never any... It's, it's, how could I ever think that she was going to go out of sight of this building to get the, the, the wing stop? Shame on cool. me. God fucking damn, that's a lot of fucking ranch. On the french fries is insane as well. Oh! Oh! Mm. It's basically all ranch. You... When people tell me that they like the flavor of something and then I see them permanently coating whatever the fuck they're eating in layers of whatever sauce they're eating, you don't give a fuck about what the flavor of whatever that item was. You are literally coating that thing in layers of ranch. Like, so when I look at this, right? When you see this, and she just told you she likes the seasoning. Where is the seasoning? Is it the ranch? Because that's all I see. That's it. It's solid white on these french fries, bro. There's no seasoning to be found. The cheese itself doesn't even fucking matter at this point. You might as well, after every bite, just start swallowing that cup of ranch. Because at this point, it doesn't matter what the seasoning is. It's literally all ranch. God damn. Mm. It's not good like that. I just tried a hot honey rub. Okay, let's try it. Damn, that's just big as fuck. Big as fuck. Damn. I get it, dude. I get the sauces, but dude, she literally just coated that shit. Mm. God damn. God damn what? Mm hmm. That shit is busting. It's not. Oh my god. Is it really busting? It's, so high and it's just it's just ranch flavored chicken. It's just ranch flavored chicken. That's all it is. You're not even eating chicken at this point. It's just ranch. Mm. Oh my god. Why is she making the I have never been around somebody that's eaten food and made those noises unless they were eating like ramen noodles or like actual noodles itself. Because those make sense because you're slurping something up. I don't see what she's slurping here. She's just eating a chicken tender that's coated in ranch. So, I don't know why she needs to make the <laughs> noises. Mm. What is that? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's porn. It's, it's basically porn. Close your... Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me, okay? Close your fucking eyes right now. Close your eyes and listen to what you're hearing, okay? Okay? 
Hold up. Oh, it's so high as fuck. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Garlic parm. A seasoned man's penis? You can open your eyes. Disgusting. Mm. You know what? She might as well just start dipping her nails in that shit and just like... Start slurping on the fucking nails, dude. Because why does it matter at this point, dude? You might as well. The ranch is really all we came here for. God damn. It's not that good. God damn. Mm. See, this is what I was talking about. This is probably why I didn't really care for their fries to begin with. It just tastes off. Like, they have, like, this weird aftertaste. But... Ranch. It's the ranch. Yeah. The weird aftertaste taste is literally just ranch. I guess. Damn, you still gonna body that shit, though? How you gonna tell me the fries is, is mid as fuck and they're not good, but you still go, fuck it. Like, I'm still gonna body slam that shit, I guess. I wanna get these garlic parmesan fries. After. Why? You just told me. I'm not going back to an establishment after I find out the fries are busted. I'm not doing that shit because the fries are already busted. Why would I go back and get the other fries? I, they're probably gonna be busted too. Okay. Let's see, maybe it's just like the voodoo itself that's making it taste like the way that it does. What is? What do you mean the voodoo itself? What the fuck do you think is happening? You think there's like a Haitian man back there throwing his fucking skin flakes on that shit, saying fucking voodoo shit? I don't even know what what what, what voodoo shit is even going on, dude. Uh, uh, cause this woman. Cause this woman, she don't need us. She doesn't deserve to have this. So I put the voodoo curse upon her french fries. That's why she's going to taste it and it's going to not taste good. Is that what you're talking about? But She mm. should use her, uh, her, her fingernails as the fork itself, man. That would be... Oh, man, I'm thinking about it now, dude. Actually, you don't even need a fork if you got your fingernails. That shit is actually meta moves right there. Mm. Oh. Oh. Bro, what is that shit on her fucking nails? Look at this. Dude, she's got... Oh, okay, it's probably... Okay, this is new. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. This is what I'm fucking talking about. You, you, if you're eating this sloppily and you're over here twerking in public bathrooms and shit like that, your nails are going to start accruing a whole bunch of amoebas, a whole bunch of disgusting sloppiness on there, right? I mean, you, we're literally seeing her nails accruing people upon them as the video progresses. Now, I don't want to sit here and say that she's dirty, but it might be a little bit true. Um, this is unsustainable. You, you, your nails are literally coated with the food that you're eating. I'm surprised we're not seeing literal just white shit or people crawling away from her nails. Dude, you gotta install that wig a little bit better, dude. God damn. It's a lot of food, too. Holy shit. God damn. Oh, yeah, put 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 that chicken amoeba in your hair. That's that's the way to do it. Coach season your hair up too. Ooh. Oh man. Mm. It's not that good. Is that what people pay for? Let me know. Let me know. I'll do an hour long video of just I can do it. I can do it, dude. It would be nothing for me. I do that every day, except I don't make those noises. It's called breathing with your mouth. I mean, it's not for me, something that I like doing personally. I'm not very attracted to people that breathe through their mouth, but I guess you're getting some type of satisfaction thinking about maybe some other things transpiring when you're going... <coughs> Whatever. But I don't personally like it, and that's going to be the end of the video. I'm not doing this shit anymore. This woman is unsustainable. I don't know how long she thinks she has eating like this, and I get it. Like, she's only technically thick. And if you look at her Instagram or her TikTok, when she twerks, I guess, there are a lot of people in the comment section going, like, oh, my God, you have my dream body. You look so good. You look so good. I don't know what dream they're talking about. That should look like a nightmare to me. Solid chunks when you got that cottage cheese shit going on, dude. If that's what you want, that's what you want. But simultaneously, dude, I, I'll prefer 
quantity over quality. Sorry, quality over quantity. I don't really care about like a lot of stuff. I care about uh, stuff that's good and condensed. You right? If that makes any sense. But anyway, guys. We're gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. They all help me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. So thank you if you could do any of that stuff for me. I want to thank everybody that's subscribed already. Anybody that's a member of the channel, thank you so much for having any of that stuff transpire. You guys are all amazing, beautiful, spectacular, awesome, just oh, gracious, amazing people. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video if you watch today's video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in giraffe because i think i'm gonna see one of those tomorrow i'm going to the aquarium and there's gonna be a whole bunch of animals and there are gonna be things that walk and swim and possibly even other things like i don't know people maybe and I'm going to go there and I'm going to look at them and say hi to them. And I haven't been to the aquarium in many, many years. So it's going to be quite an experience. Make sure you check out my Instagram because I probably have pictures of me standing next to things that are of, not of the human nature. Like your mom. Sorry, had to be said. It doesn't matter. Okay, you're a beautiful person. I care about you. Obviously, you're an amazing, awesome specimen of human being. You're an outlet of joy, love, and affection for so many people. You smell so good. I've been thinking about how your aroma is literally something I want on my body every single day. You just smell too good for me not to smell you every single day. Please stay away from the frozen food section. You're literally going to melt it because you're so spiced up. You're so hot. You're so just delicately, amazingly awesome. Um, anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff will be linked down below in the description and the description of the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.